We've been in London for about a week. I've been in England for maybe three weeks now. And today we're flying to Switzerland on a whim. We booked our flights yesterday, kind of flying by the seat of our pants here. If all goes according to plan, we are about to go skiing in Switzerland. This is our London flat. It's a bit dark because it's really early in the morning, but looks like it's gonna be a sunny day. That's Hyde Park. Quick moment of appreciation for this location. We are right on Hyde Park. I feel so lucky to stay here while we're in London. This is usually our go-to. It's called Buckingham and Lloyd's. They're actually apart hotels, meaning they are apartments that function as a hotel in terms of the service, the amenities, daily housekeeping, all of the concierge access, all of that stuff comes with staying with Buckingham and Lloyd's, but you're in your own private rental. So you have your own space, your own kitchen. It's honestly the best best concept and we love it. We stay here every time we come to London. So just wanted to shout that out, but can you see my breath? It's definitely chilly, but we're leaving London for now. There's Zach doing his morning meditation. Extra important before a long day of unpredictable travel. We're at Heathrow, about five hours early. Let's go find some coffee. Let's do it. I'm tired, but let's do it. This is so have a great day, baby. <laughs> Found the coffee. Question is, how overweight will our bags be? Question of our lives. Exactly. <laughs> and then we're booking our train from Zurich to Zermatt. Oh, shoot. Four, four kilos over. Great. <laughs> security spent about 30 minutes going through every single one of our bags traveling through the UK airports you have to take every single liquid even if it's your mascara tube and put them all in a plastic bag and if the bag doesn't seal you can't take them I always forget no other airport in the world makes you do this that I know of. now we're gonna get some food and then we are flying from Heathrow to Zurich Let's do it. We're going to Switzerland. Let's go ski the Alps. First time going about. to Switzerland. Shred, First time skiing in Europe. Yeah, I can't wait for this. Alan's repacking. The amount of stuff we have. It's a lot. It's a lot. We uh, managed to distribute the weight and we didn't pay any overweight fees, did we? No. No, no overweight fees. No overweight fees. Our Instead plan of works. Win. at this whole train situation. <laughs> I booked our train tickets from the wrong station in Zurich. And then we're booking our train from Zurich to Zermatt. On the bright side, we had time to buy some sandwiches. Some baguettes, that's how I know. We got one of these sandwiches and we were just eating it and it was so good. I made Zach go up and get two more. We're gonna be crushing the slopes. It's okay to carve up. It's always okay to carve up. We got these delicious sandwiches. They're so good. It's like fresh pretzel bread. We have a couple more minutes to kill before our train gets here and then we're on our way to the Alps. <laughs> Train crew welcomes you on the Intercity 8 to Tulum. This is Yes, that is Zach eating a rotisserie chicken with his bare hands on a train. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> so it turns out that we suck at trains. We booked the wrong ticket, so it just messed everything up. And now we have an hour gap between where we are right now, which is this, and Zermatt, which is where we're heading. So we're just waiting here in the snow for an hour, but at least we have some chocolate. <laughs> Got some pick and mix lint truffles in this little store, so that should hold us over. How's that apple? Is it making up for the Delicious. all the chocolate? Swiss, Swiss apple. It's up, it cancels out chocolate basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they nice. cancel each other out. My camera died, but we finally made it. Started at 7 a.m. and now it's 
almost 11 p.m. But I wanna show you our room. We just checked in at the Omnia. This is our first little stop here in Zermatt. And we have an amazing suite. We got a balcony right there. And here we have the bedroom, so nice. And then we've got actually two bathrooms. We've got this one, and then there's another one by the entrance the bathroom. We popped out of our bedroom balcony and speechless. I cannot wait to see this in the morning. We're on the edge of a mountain with this beautiful view of the little village. So we are greeted with a bottle of champagne that Zach did the honors of vinoing. And what was the rating? 4.4. 30,000 reviews. 30,000 reviews, 4.4 rating that on Vivino. A good one, a good champagne. <laughs> That's so nice. Wow, we are just so spoiled. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning from Zermatt. I can't believe we're here. We stayed up so late last night because we were trying to catch up on our stories and I had a lot of photos to edit from recent shoots. Anyway, boring stuff. But basically, long story short, we stayed up till like, I think I was up to like two. So we slept in till like 10 and now I'm just like, feel like I'm a zombie, but ran out of bed, opened the blinds and cannot believe my eyes. We're actually in a winter wonderland. The whole thing was so spontaneous that it hasn't really sunk in that we're here. Yesterday morning we woke up in London and now we're in this remote beautiful little ski chalet village in Switzerland. Like what's happening? I'm so happy. Okay, yay. Please ignore Zach singing and just focus on this beautiful breakfast bread. Like what? With that view? I love you Zermatt. I got ready. I still feel like I'm asleep. Yes, I feel caffeinated, but I still feel asleep, if that makes sense. <laughs> I also just realized that we're at quite a high altitude, so that could be why I feel kind of like groggy and puffy. But nevertheless, I have zero complaints <laughs> because my view right now is like a movie set. I can't believe this place is real. Sorry, I know I keep saying that. Our plan today is we just have the one day here at this hotel, the Omnia, but we will be in Zermatt all week. So today is Monday. We're gonna be here until Friday. And apparently it's gonna be amazing weather, we were told. So it snowed last night. So there's fresh powder, but it's sunshine. I heard that this area of the Alps is known for having the most blue clear sky days. We are headed to St. Moritz. St. Moritz will be there probably for the next week. So we have two weeks total. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Just gonna stare at this view in awe. Boys di toilette. Boys Trying to switch German in the next 30 minutes before dinner. <laughs> Show us what you've learned. Mir wein bitte. It means more wine, please. Well, that's all we need to know, so. I guess we're, we're ready. Guess we're ready to go. Let's, let's get ready and get let's head there. to dinner, baby. <laughs> Whoa! Dinner. Going to dinner. This hotel has a lot of glass and a lot of levels. There's so many different levels that it's just too confusing to do room numbers, so they just do the alphabet A through Z. We're in room W. For winning. For winning. Or <laughs> wine. Or wine. We're at dinner. Omnia. So far, the bread has been the best. The bread was incredible. The wine has been incredible. I want more of this. More of this, <laughs> less of this. We just got back from dinner. We're tired, but we're just sitting around. It's time to go to bed. Our time zone that we're on is like an hour earlier, so we're, yeah, we've been staying up a little too late. Tomorrow, we're checking into a new hotel, and to get there, we're taking a train. And the hotel that we're staying in is a ski and ski out hotel called Riflop. I'll let you know tomorrow if that's the correct pronunciation. It is up very high on a mountain. You can ski and ski out. You can see the Matterhorn. It looks amazing. It's an iconic old hotel. So a little more old school than this modern one. What's going on? What you watching? What you doing? Watching Cornhole. What else are we watching this hour? Tell me your boyfriend's obsessed with Cornhole without telling me. Look, here's the deal. Oh, wait, wait, there's more. He travels with his <laughs> cornhole bag. I have to stay sharp. So he can throw it across the room. Listen, 
when you're on ESPN and you're being interviewed, you're gonna thank me. I'll play them this clip. Yeah, you will. Good morning. Morning. Good morning from Zermatt. It is a gorgeous day. There's not a cloud in the sky. We're gonna head down to breakfast now and then we are packing up and checking out of this hotel. I think we're gonna go do some shopping today because what do we need to shop for, Zach? Just shop for some ski clothes. <laughs> So Zach purposefully did not bring his one ski outfit because I told him he wasn't allowed to bring it because he's been wearing the same brown pants and green jacket for the last six years. And I just think it's time for a change. Something a little more uh, stylish maybe. <laughs> but yeah, Zach doesn't have anything. So we have to get him something because today we are going to our new hotel, which is the Reflop and it is ski in, ski out, which is a dream. So we definitely wanna take advantage of, you know, the location of this hotel and go skiing. So yeah, we definitely need to go get some clothes for Zach. So stay tuned on our shopping mission today. For now, we're gonna head down to breakfast and then go from there. Oh, from the spa. <laughs> what? She's not. I'm dry and Zach is not. But you look like a swim model. Swim model? Yeah. Well, maybe I'm in the next thing. Like, what are those abs? No more bread for me. Looks like you've never had a piece of bread in your life. <laughs> Don't make me blush, boo. <laughs> okay, but for real though, look at the spa. Hello from the hot tub. Hi, hot tub land. <laughs> We're in the hot tub, look at this view. Are you kidding me? I think this is the best hot tub I've ever been in. We came to check out the spa and we found this hot tub and I don't know if we're ever gonna get out of it, to be honest. These are literally frozen. Don't break it off. <laughs> That's hilarious. Zach approves of the portion sizes. Portions are my dream. Pasta trio and ribs, and we got a view. My dog there trying on a teenager jacket because it's cheaper. <laughs> hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. He is more comfortable, to be honest. You leveled up to the big boy jacket. We're going, we're going high end. The Lux. What'd you get? You want the, the, Bog, the Bogner jacket. See, Chris, Christmas comes early or late. Christmas <laughs> came late in this case. <laughs> Thank Merry you, baby, Christmas. for my Christmas gift. What an angel. <laughs> Our next hotel we're going to is a leading hotel of the world property. So the leading hotel of the world is a kind of like a membership that hotels can be a part of when they are absolutely outstanding. So all hotels that get to be a part of leading hotels of the world are just the most fantastic hotels for so many reasons. We have a great relationship with the leading hotels of the world team, we worked with them through Italy, through Europe, and now we're doing a little Switzerland tour with them. So we're staying at several of their properties. These hotels, the next few that we're staying at are more grand, it's like really upscale, more old school. Really excited to see this hotel. I've heard amazing things about it and we're going up the mountain right now to Reflau, where the hotel is located. So I'll take you along. We have our ski passes, so we're definitely going skiing now. your bed, babe. There's mine. <laughs> Little bunk action. Hello from Reflop Hotel. We arrived here tonight by sled snowmobile pulling a sled and it's so dark that we haven't really been able to see our surroundings yet so we'll have to check that out in the morning but for now we're in this amazing amazing suite. It is very cabin vibes. It's very wooden so nice. I think we're gonna go skiing tomorrow. So very excited for that. I'm very exhausted, so I will vlog more tomorrow. Good morning from the mountains. Look 
where we are. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna do a full room tour soon. For now, we're having our breakfast. We've got this amazing breakfast spread, oatmeal, coffee, and then look at this view it's absolutely unreal there are literally skiers skiing by our room right now <laughs> you can see the chairlift up there and then look at this the matterhorn and a majestic mountain range so we're just gonna eat and then figure out our plans for the day hello <laughs> I think this is like probably the bougiest I've ever felt partially because of my outfit and then partially because this is where I'm having breakfast well coffee this is where I'm having my coffee I ate my breakfast inside but set up a little scene right here and just look at this this is just a dream like I can't comprehend so this is the Riefelalp hotel it is the highest luxury hotel in all of europe it is 2222 meters high so we are literally in the mountains this hotel is iconic it is very old it was built in 1884 originally it was built to be a summertime escape for some of the richest people in Europe, but now it is enjoyed by everyone who loves summer and winter here. The skiing is literally right there. We are on one of the most amazing ski resorts in Switzerland. This hotel is Ski and Ski Out, and I'm pretty sure our room qualifies as Ski and Ski Out. We're gonna try and figure out if we can find our room from this run <laughs> and like ski straight into our, our room, because that would be so insane. <laughs> this hotel is a leading hotel of the world property, so we are leading hotels members. It's great if you travel a lot because you can kind of take advantage of some perks at all of these unique outstanding hotels. You get a free continental breakfast, late checkout, whatever. They really take care of you as well as so many other perks. I will get into that later. For now, I just i am so distracted <laughs> with this view. We are getting all kitted up and we're going to go hit the slopes and do a half day and ski all afternoon. Maybe find a place to grab lunch on the slope. Oops. Zach's putting on his new outfit. It's gonna look so fly. <laughs> We're ready. I am wearing what Zach threw in a bag for me. So I have these Goldberg pants on with a Cordova silver jacket. What are you wearing, man? Wearing Wagner. <laughs> Wagner and more Wagner. More Wagner. Wagner pants, jacket. Let's hit the slopes. Update, we made it on the slope. <gasps> We've literally been on the slope for five seconds. And I mean, <laughs> look at the view. I feel like I'm in like, I don't know, like a video game. It doesn't feel real. I think we only have time for like a couple runs cause it's you know, later in the afternoon. So we're just gonna crush through, get our bearings. Then we'll have a full day tomorrow. We're just gonna go enjoy these few runs now. <laughs> Oh boy. Wow, it's an adventure. So, it's an adventure for a reason. <laughs> update. We skied out of the hotel. That part was amazing. Insane views. And then we got to the first lift. We proceeded to go through the little automatic lift ticket scanner thing and it went beep. So then we looked at our tickets and we realized they were actually train tickets, not ski passes. I'll take you on. We have our ski passes, so we're definitely going skiing now. I don't know how we managed to mix that up. I feel extremely silly. Basically, we couldn't get back up in the lift, so we skied down, and then we found a taxi that took us back to Zermatt Village. That's fine. We're gonna go find some. Warm up. Yeah, it was a little warm up, like a five minute warm up, <laughs> and then we're gonna get dinner here, and then take the train back up to Reflop and try again tomorrow. Good morning. It is another beautiful blue sky day here in Zermatt. I'm just getting ready right now. We are going skiing. We're gonna have a full day of skiing to make up for yesterday. Yesterday was just like five minutes of skiing and then realizing that we didn't have ski passes with us so we could not take any lifts up. So we had to take a taxi back to town. And it ended up being a great little evening in town. We got sushi, we went to a wine shop, we got some wine, we went to a pub. It was really fun, so all good, but today we're gonna have a great day on the slopes. We're actually checking out of this hotel tomorrow. Just to give you guys a little insight into how spontaneous we are. I don't even know if spontaneous is the right word, how 
unorganized. <laughs> I don't know. Basically tomorrow we don't have anywhere to stay yet. Just because we have been waiting to hear back about possibly getting a hotel collaboration through leading hotels of the world. We are just flying by the seat of our pants over here, which is totally how we used to travel. And it's kind of fun traveling like total lunatics with no plans. But yeah, I'll keep you posted and I'm gonna finish getting ready. And then I think I'm gonna try and film a TikTok. I'm gonna try and do a get ready with me TikTok ski edition. Let's see how that goes. live here. Like I could happily live here and never leave. Just live in the mountains in Switzerland. In fact, I may never come home. I'm ready. This is my outfit for today. It's the exact same thing I wore yesterday. I have these cool pants from Goldberg. They have these suspenders on them. And then this is like a layering top I have on underneath that is so warm. It's fleece lined. It's also from Goldberg. And then I have this Cordova microwave jacket on. It is very warm. I have this Wagner fanny pack. This is what I use to hold my vlog camera in. So you guys will be in here. Plus chapstick, crucial. Goldberg makes the best beanies because they have a little bit of fleece right here so it doesn't get itchy on your forehead. So you can actually wear it for a long period of time without wanting to scratch your face off. These are my Prada goggles that Zach got me for Christmas. The most important part, this whole outfit, and the key to success today is this little piece of paper. My magic ticket to the mountain, AKA my ski pass, AKA what I didn't have yesterday. So we'll be right here, safe and sound. We are fueling up for a day on the slopes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna crush it out there. Mm. This is how we start the day. We're in the Reflop Hotel bar. Let's do it. I am ready. The question is, are you ready? Born ready. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Behind me is our hotel, and this is where we ski. This is the slope that is right in front of our room. So we literally skied off of this run to our room, which is, this is not a trail. We just went off trail. We were kind of thinking we could grab a glass of wine, maybe some champagne, but our back patio doors are locked. I don't know if we can call them. And ask them to open it. Ask housekeeping. Yeah, we're probably good. Hi, we skied into our ski and room. <laughs> ski and, uh, we can't get into our room. <laughs> yes, stand with someone up right away, thank you. With some champagne, thank you. I have to say, this is the life. Ski in, ski out is the move. <laughs> it is so incredible to be able to swoop into your room mid-slope to grab an apple and a glass of white wine. Like, what a dream come true. Woo! Please taste. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that's so good. How good is that? Buttery, Cheers. mineral forward. If anyone's interested in what we're drinking, Lux Vina. Highly recommend it. If you could find it anywhere, you probably can't, but it's a good one. Did we just have a very extra photo shoot tanning on these two lawn chairs? Yes, yes we did. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta do extra crazy things when you uh, find yourself in Switzerland in a ski and ski out. We're gonna go ski for the rest of the day, so sayonara. Late lunch, mid slope, right in front of the horn. Just the two of us. In front of the horn, baby girl. No one else really around because everyone's done skiing. deal. Zach doesn't want to participate in the vlog because we are very tired and cranky. Mostly just tired because we've been skiing all day and it's just exhausting. However, I may have mentioned earlier, don't have a plan starting tomorrow through Monday for the weekend. We were touring with the idea of staying in Zermatt, but now we've changed our minds and we think it would be cool to get over to St. Moritz and have five nights over there. So that way we'd have five nights in Zermatt, five nights in St. Moritz. There's a train that runs from from Zermatt all the way to St. Moritz, which is great. It's like a seven hour train, but it's extremely scenic. 
So we think we're going to take this train. However, we don't have anywhere booked to stay yet. We might have the option to stay in an amazing hotel with leading hotels of the world. So we're hoping that comes through. If that doesn't, then, you know, we'll just have to figure something out. But it's all very last minute. It's all coming together right in the nick of time hopefully tomorrow on the train we will kind of get our lives together but we have to pack there's only one train and it leaves at 8 30 a.m or something so we have to get all of our bags to the train station by 8 30. i may cut this vlog off right here and then resume with part two of our switzerland adventure and that will be beginning with whether or not we make it on this train so you're gonna have to wait to find out if it all works out or not just two kids with a ton of luggage no plans and a lot of enthusiasm <laughs> will they make it to same rates you'll have to find out in part two thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you check out part two when i post that see you in the next one bye Hey, hi, it's me again. The video's over, but I have a quick announcement. First of all, if you made it this far, I freaking love you. And that's why I wanted to give you this little gift. The earrings I designed with my best friend Whitney, these chain link ones that I wore all throughout this video that I've been wearing ever since I made them, are da -da -da -da, on sale. We're doing a 25% off sale just to say thank you because the support has been amazing and to celebrate the new year. So I'll leave the link in the description. Go tap that link and use the code new year and you will get 25% off of these earrings. That's all. Okay, love you. See you in part two. Bye.